Let's meet the macromolecules. Macro means large, and you should remember from the last lesson that molecule means two or more atoms combined with covalent bonds. Macromolecules tend to have lots of atoms in them, and all of the macromolecules we'll talk about in biology have carbon in them. Carbon is very important because it can combine with lots of other kinds of atoms and form a wide variety of shapes. There are four specific macromolecules we are concerned with in this lesson. Carbohydrates have one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms for every carbon atom. They can be small or they can be huge. Small ones are called monosaccharides and larger ones are called polysaccharides. These are the sugars and starches that our bodies break down for energy, but there are also carbohydrates used for structure in plants and animals. Lipids are mostly made of carbon and hydrogen. The one thing that lipids have in common are that they don't dissolve in water. These include fats, oils, and waxes. Lipids with no double bonds are called saturated and tend to be solid at room temperature. Lipids with double bonds are called unsaturated and tend to be liquid at room temperature. Lipids store energy in plants and animals, as well as serve as protective barriers. There are also lipids that act as hormones, such as testosterone, and carry messages in the body. Protein is made of amino acids, which are small molecular units that each have a central carbon and a specific structure for three of the things that are attached to it, but have a variable fourth group that give the amino acid its properties. There are 20 kinds of amino acids that can be used to build a protein. Because protein can have such a wide variety of shapes, it is very important in living things. Everything about you either is a protein or is affected by a protein. Protein can act as a carrier the way hemoglobin carries oxygen, or it can function to move things like actin and myosin in your muscles, or it can drive chemical reactions. The final kind of macromolecule we'll discuss is nucleic acid. This includes DNA and RNA. These are the genetic molecules. They code for and help build proteins. A single unit of nucleic acid is called a nucleotide, and each one has a sugar, phosphate, and nitrogen-containing base. The nucleotides are strung together to make a nucleic acid, and the order of the bases determines the proteins to be made. Macromolecules work together to form the structures that allow living things to perform the multitude of functions that make life possible.